Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here with another photo paper test, and this time we're looking at Epson Legacy Barita 2, introduced in May of 2023. Epson says this paper is a true Barita intended for use by professional photographers, fine artists, galleries, museums, and collectors. It's OBA free and coated on 100% cotton fiber paper, which I think is a departure from their original Legacy Barita paper. Epson says this is a true Barita paper and it offers industry leading microporous coating for rich blacks in a wide color gamut and is available in cut sheets from 17 inches by 22 inches and rolls up to 60 inches. I have to say after printing on it, I agree with Epson. The results are spectacular. I don't know who makes this paper, but a lot of photographers compared the original Epson Legacy Barita to one of the Red River Baritas or to Canson's Barita Photographique. I was a little discouraged when I opened the package and the very first sheet had a scuff and a pronounced dent, but the remainder of the sheets appear to be in perfect condition. Okay y'all, let's get into the first sample print. This is a 10 by 15 inch print on a 13 by 19 inch paper. As you watch this, keep in mind I'm recording on an iPhone and the white balance tries to adjust on the fly, but to my eye, all of these prints are very neutral, not too warm or not too cool. Epson calls this a satin finish. I printed this image twice from two different scans. This is the lab scan from my lab that developed the film. The print is 12 inches by 12 inches. I use an Epson printer, so I'd expect this paper to perform flawlessly with the printer, and it did.
I get a lot of questions about printing from an ICC profile versus using Epson's Advanced Black and White, and I frankly have never used the uh, ABW. I print from Photoshop using the recommended ICC profiles. Epson's ICC profiles load into the computer when you install the printer drivers, and I didn't see one for Barita 2, so I just used the older Barita uh, ICC profile, and from what I can tell, it worked just fine. I use the relative colorimetric setting. And this is the old pickup truck again, this time from a drum scan from the medium format negative. 12 by 12 inches, and this is the sheet that had the scuff. As you can see, it's very visible. Regardless, I think you'll agree this is a gorgeous paper. I shot this image on a Hasselblad 500cm with an 80mm lens. Well, I hope this video is useful to anyone considering this new paper from Epson. Thanks for watching. You can see more of my black and white photographs at keithdotson.com.